Okay, uh, tell me your name. Eric Troy. Okay, and how did you get involved with the project? <laughs> it was really, wow. Um, my day job, um, it, 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 okay, there's a backstory. I'd known Mickey. I'd met Mickey a while back, back when she was a DJ. Yes, Mickey Black was a DJ first before she was a filmmaker. So I met her back then and through a mutual friend of ours. And um, I hadn't seen her a long time, you know, for almost, I don't know, maybe 10, 12, 15 years or something like that. And then uh, fast forward my day job, what I do, I had to uh, service her apartment. And it's like, hey, you look familiar. I don't know, you look familiar. Hey, I know you. And it was kind of one of those things. And she's like, yo, you still doing music? I said, yeah. And so, yo, I'm doing a film. Oh, what? Okay, cool. Um, hey, I need a, I, I, I need some music for this project. I'm like, what? Okay, cool. I'd love to be in the project. Just trying to get out there and get known. And it just was right, right time, right place with the right person. And that's pretty much how it happened. It was just a matter of fate without sounding too religious. But it was a matter of, of you know, stars and planets and stuff lining up. So, so have you ever scored a project, for, a film before? Or I've anything? never scored anything. Okay. This is my first one out the box. So I'm hoping this, uh, I hope it works. So what was your process? Because sometimes, sometimes the, 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 the composers on the set, sometimes they just get the scenes and they look at it, or they get dailies. So what, what, what was your process of putting the music to, to the scenes of the, of the film? Talking to Mickey and getting an imagination for it. You know, uh, and then she sent me the script and the synopsis. So I had to really just use my imagination. And one of the things that I asked for is, what does it feel like? And because when, when I'm, I'm a big movie buff guy, and the first thing as a musician that I'm doing is I'm paying attention to the music. Um, because I was a, I also majored in theater. So when scoring something like that, um, one of the things you should be able to do is turn the volume down. What does it feel like? You know, turn the volume down and then just listen to it. After you've seen the movie, okay, now rewind it or take it back and then just listen to the volume without watching the TV or without watching it or close your eyes. What does it feel like? And if you can say, okay, this scene, I think something scary is going on. And the only way you know about it is how the music's going. So I wanted to kind of keep it in line with what it felt like. So and it felt like something, you know, what, what, I, what I felt is what I played. And what instruments did you use? Did you use keyboards, uh, drums, uh, um, guitars? I mean, what, what, what instruments did, are, are part of this? Uh? I used a lot of, well, I used some break beats, some cleared break beats that, um, you know, it was cleared, so it was it was what they call open domain. Open domain break beats, which basically anybody can use them and use them for whatever. Uh, I also played um, synthesizers on it, synthesizers and... Uh, But on the uh, credit song, I played all the instruments. I played drums, I played guitar, keyboards, um, strings. I played all the instruments and did most of the vocals. Um, there's also a female on there, I have to give her some love, Shakira Daniels. She also helped me with that, with the vocals, because she's a phenomenal vocal. She's better than what I can do, so that's that. And how long have you been involved in music? <laughs> um, 34 years. I've been playing for 34 years. How was it like working with Mickey on this project? I would have, well, because of circumstances and budgets and stuff like that, um, it was limited, I think. Not, lim not limit limited, not in a bad way. Um, but, be, you know, I would have loved to have, you know, sat in a room where I can see, you know, the whole storyboard, the film. I can sync my, my my stuff up to her film, and so she can say, okay, now add an explosion here, or redo her sound here. But that's coming. You know, right now it's just, it's, it's, it's a project, you know. 
it's a seed in the ground. We're just going to watch it grow, you know. And for what we got and for what we had, I, I think, you know, we did the best we could with what we got and what, and what we have. And, you know, we're both concentrating on quality. You know, I want to give her quality music, you know, because she has a quality film. It is quality. And what did you learn? Well, at Growing Pains as a composer, because it's the first time you did this, mm -hmm. what did you gain from this? So learn, what you know, as, 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 a, as an artist, as a musician, because it's almost like a next chapter in your life. Yeah. What, yeah. what did you gain from this experience? I, am, um, lear I, I learned just another way of how to serve. You know, me, being a musician is a serve. You, you are serving. You know, a lot of people don't understand that as a music, as a musician, artist, performer, you're a servant. You're a servant. You serve the people. Ears are listening. People are watching. You know, um, I think when when I had met Mickey again for the second time in her apartment, you know, um, we both kind of expressed some insecurities about our craft. But then I had to, we had to digress and, and say, you know, well, you know what, for those who have, it, my motto is, for, from a musician, those who have ears, they will hear. And in Mickey's perspective, from Mickey's standpoint, those who have eyes will see, you know. And and that's basically where it is, you know, but, you know, that's how, where it is. <laughs>